how to stop procrastinating and be more productive. I'm literally walking my talk with this video and I'm gonna explain why. A lot of things have happened that could have prevented this video from being made and if I'd have wanted to, it would have been so easy to give in to procrastination, but I'm here, I'm showing up and I hope to inspire you with this example and hopefully you'll get some valuable takeaways too. This video is a follow-up from another one that I did on procrastination a couple of weeks ago, and I promised I'd be back with some more specific tips and advice. And so what I want to talk to you about today is something that's been an absolute game changer for me, and one that I really credit with building the business that I have. So in case you don't know my story, I'm a single mum. I've got two sons that I've been raising on my own since they were small, and um, they're now teenagers. They go to private school and I take care of them single, single handedly. And so I know what it's like to combine family challenges with challenges of running a business and serving clients. And so I've really had to nail procrastination. And so the thing that I wanna share with you, something that's made a massive difference to me is simply scheduling. I'm sure that you and I are similar. So I know there are certain things that when they appear on my list, I'm always gonna feel, I don't feel like that. Like admin and paperwork, I never really feel like doing. And I could keep putting them off over and over and over. But what I've learned is there are certain things that if they have to happen, then what I do is I schedule them. I block out as an appointment and I basically show up to that appointment, sometimes holding my nose because I really don't feel like doing this thing, but I show up and I do it anyway. And this has done a couple of things for me. Like one is made sure that certain things that, you know, I would never ever want to get around to doing that they actually get done. And also it's meant that I've developed a muscle where I can actually get myself to do things that I don't feel like doing. So there's a great quote from Darren Hardy where he says, commitment is doing the thing that you said you would do long after the motivation has left you. And this is absolutely true. If you wanna create anything in life, you can't wait to always feel motivated, to always feel inspired. The fact is there are times when you're not gonna wanna do it and you show up and do it anyway. Look at Olympic athletes. Do you think that they show up to every training session feeling enthusiastic and inspired? Probably not, but they know Know that if they want to stand on the podium and get a medal that there's things that they have to do day in day out and for some of them they do all of that work and they never get to stand on the on the podium so they have to be masters at overcoming procrastination and that skill is available to you it really is simply that you make a choice and you block out on your calendar and when the time rolls round that you show up and do it anyway now there's a couple of things that you can do to help you with this and so one thing is to make sure that you schedule some type of reward for the thing that you've been avoiding. So let's say it's something like, something that I worked on earlier this year where I decided I was gonna clean up my garage and I knew that this was gonna be a several hour project, a several day project. And what I did was I decided that for the first hour of every day in January this year, that I was just gonna show up and do this thing. And sometimes I was excited about doing it, sometimes I wasn't excited about doing it, but I just did it anyway. Now at the end of January, I ended up with much more than a clean garage. I ended up with stronger skills at managing myself and overcoming my own BS and overcoming that little voice in my brain that says, I don't feel like it today. And so I got so much more than a clean garage. I actually came away with a stronger self-belief and feeling really great that I'd got myself to do this thing that I'd been putting off forever. So I really wanna encourage you to try this. Give scheduling a try. If there's something, let's say it's a project that you know, maybe it's like, sorting out your taxes or something like that. And you know that it's gonna be several hours. Can you break it down into smaller component parts? Can you block it out into maybe 30 minutes at a time where you'll show up and then schedule a reward that you give yourself immediately after and then basically just follow through. When you do this, you're gonna learn that you are someone who keeps your own promises. And that's a fantastic thing that's gonna really serve you with anything that you attempt in life. Now I did say that I'd share with you how I'm walking my talk with this video. So let me share with you what's happened today. So today I blocked out time Time to do videos. Now, this is normally not something that I avoid. I always love creating videos. I always love talking to you and sharing ideas and hopefully inspiring you and helping you. So it's never something that I really need to psych myself up to do. But today I had a really long day. And so when the time rolled round that I was scheduled to record these videos, I really didn't feel like it. I wanted to sit on the couch, put my feet up, watch some TV and just relax. But I knew that I would made this promise to myself and I know that my team are waiting for these videos. So I just decided that I was gonna follow through and come and do these videos. Then I had a problem with my camera. 
And so my camera kept crashing as I created my videos, but I persevered and I stuck with it and I got two done. And then it was time to do this one. And I looked at my watch and it was seven minutes to the hour. And it would be so easy for me to have gone, do you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, call it a day and I'll do that one tomorrow. But it would be a bit ironic, wouldn't it? If I quit on doing a video about procrastination, by procrastinating. So I thought it was a great opportunity to come on and share with you like how I've overcome my own temptation to procrastinate by shooting this video. And then my camera crashed entirely. And so if I wanted to, I had the total get out of jail free card. I had a really good legitimate reason for not following through and doing it, which is why you can see this a bit wobbly on this camera. I'm now doing this on my phone because I said I would. I blocked out the time and I'm someone that I block out the time. I say, I'm going to do it. I show up and do it. And you can be that person too. So I hope this has inspired you. I hope I've helped you to figure out a way to start making progress on something you've been procrastinating on. I'd love to hear your comments below. Do leave a comment and let me know what is it that you've been putting off and what did you get from this video that's going to help you the next time that thing rolls around. Look forward to seeing your comments and I'll connect with you very soon. Take care.